most of you have probably seen Willy Wonka in the movie. Winners of a golden ticket get to tour a chocolate factory, more amazing than you can imagine. That's a little how we felt recently during our tour of a place that produces not candy, but a dizzying variety of vegetables, greens, and herbs. Come with us as we walk through the chef's garden, which grows produce for some heavenly kitchens. These fields between Milan and Sandusky look like a farm paradise with beautiful rows of fresh, nutritious vegetables growing. But life for the Jones family here hasn't always been so good. We lost the family farm back when I was 19 years old and started over. And there were a handful of chefs that had had European influence that were looking for quality ingredients that flat out just didn't exist at that time in this country. Since the 1980s, their connections have expanded and the crops they grow have evolved from familiar vegetables to more unusual variations, sometimes grown to order. Farmer Lee Jones sees the farm's relationship with chefs as a partnership. We're very, very fortunate that we've been able to hook up with chefs that really I guess support sustainable agriculture and allow us as a small family farm to be able to follow our passion. To make sure the roots and greens that come out of these fields are strong and full of nutrients, the crops on their 300 acres of farmland are rotated. One third of it is sitting fallow in any one year and another third is growing very specific components for compost. It's about working in harmony with nature rather than trying to outsmart it. And don't think the garden season is over just because it's November. There's more than sweet corn and tomatoes here. There's certain crops that absolutely love the cooler temperatures. Of course, anything from the cruciferous family, the cauliflowers and the broccolis and the kohlrabis and the cabbages and the spinaches and the lettuces, radishes and the beets. Crops which are washed and sorted and boxed up by the WOW team. The idea is they want you to say wow when you open it and see the beauty of what's inside. Some of the acreage is under the cover of greenhouses. What you see here are microgreens. Some lettuces and herbs are grown for harvest when they're very small, handy for sprinkling on a plate as a gourmet garnish. The chef's garden's list of customers is very impressive, as you can see. On the day we visited, boxes of homegrown Ohio vegetables were shipping to restaurants and resorts in New York, Chicago, Las Vegas, even Hong Kong. Proof that we are still living in one of the great food producing parts of the world. Even when the winds from Lake Erie turn colder, there's still fresh food growing here. It's year round. It's really about working in harmony with nature and taking what it'll give us. We can capture the solar energy even during the dead of winter. Now, here's a surprising fact only 2% of the chef's garden's produce is sold in Ohio, most of it shipped to faraway locations. Now, they are now able to offer vegetable and salad green boxes for delivery to home cooks, even through the winter. And they start at around $30 a month for a six-month or 12-month subscription. You can also get a one-time delivery. For a link to that information, go to foxtoledo.com, then search for Heavenly Kitchens. All right, my